is my Singer 500A. In this tutorial, I will show you how I wind the bobbin for this machine. Here I have a felt I will place on the spindle. This is to help hold the spool of thread in place. Take your spool of thread right side up and place it on the spindle. Take your thread, <clears throat> excuse me, and you'll come to the tension disc. You will wrap your thread around this tension disc. Sometimes the tension disc is either too tight or too loose. If so, you just take a screwdriver and loosen or tighten the screw that's on top. Now I will get my bobbin. I'm using a Class 66 metal bobbin. It has four holes. I will thread one of the four holes. Some people like to wrap. I prefer to place the thread through the hole. I will bring the thread around this post and onto the bobbin spindle. I will pull out about seven inches of thread and secure the latch. Next, your hand wheel. You have an inner wheel and outer wheel. The outer wheel is also known as the stop motion wheel. With your left hand, you'll brace the inner wheel and with your right hand, you'll turn the outer wheel toward you or counterclockwise to loosen, to loosen it. Now you are ready to wind your bobbin. You'll take the thread tail, hold it, and press on the foot control. And it's really fast, so make sure you hold on to it. Okay, now I will continue threading the bobbin. And I try to do it at an even pace. Okay, I think that's good. Release the latch, cut the thread, and you have a wound bobbin. What I like about this machine, uh, the bobbin is always wound, it's just, it's just perfect. I'll take a picture, but I just love the way this machine winds the bobbin. One other thing I want to mention is your uh, hand wheel. You'll want to return it to its uh, normal position. So what you'll do, you'll just hold the, hold the inner wheel and the outer wheel, you'll just uh, turn it clockwise. Tight. And then you want to bring the entire wheel, sorry about that, the entire wheel toward you to make sure that the take up lever is moving up and down so that you can continue sewing. One other thing I would like to mention is the type of bobbin for this machine. These bobbins, metal or plastic that you find in Joanne, are not for this machine. And I didn't know when I had purchased this because I failed to look on the back to see uh, that this machine is not mentioned on the list. And the bobbin is, I have one, this is the one, class 66 at Joanne. It's shorter. So when I put it on the bobbin spindle and started to wind, it didn't wind all the way. It would stop and start, stop. And it's shorter. So it 
just doesn't work for this machine. I mean, you can try it and try to make it work. But I prefer to use the bobbin that is specific for this machine. It's taller and it makes your latch easier to wrap, to close. And I will place the part number in the video. Well, that is how you wind the bobbin for Singer 500A and I want to thank you for watching.